What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Journey to Master and today we have another tool to review. This is the Milwaukee Stud. Uh, it's a new tape measure that Milwaukee's been pushing lately. Um, so I've gotten to try it out for about a month. Um, let me just break them open. The reason I have this here is because I'm kind of going to do a comparison of the two and show um, like why I think certain ways about each one. So put that aside for a minute. So the stud, the great thing about it is uh, it can't tear. So like they have this special coating on it. So you can't actually tear this tape like a normal tape measure. If you get it caught on something, it'll break or it'll tear off and then you're just out a tape measure. Um, so it's really cool. Like the, the idea behind it is that it's durable, it's tough. Um, they say that it'll last if you drop it from 80 feet. I really, really want to test that theory, but I don't have like an 80 foot building around here to drop it off of and test. Um, but it's supposed to be very rugged. I've dropped the shit out of it. Uh, I have dropped it and the tape not gone back inside of it. And you have to sit and push back inside. But I find that just hitting it a few times like recoils everything back up in there and it works just fine. Um, another really cool feature. So like when you use a tape measure, usually you keep your finger in front of this tape measure. And then the force of it, if you let go, you smash your finger in there. Um, some of them have like a lot more of a retractable force, so it hurts your finger. So the cool thing that they did is they put a little slot on the bottom side of this so you can keep your finger out of the way and just let it slap back without hurting your finger. Um, other than that, I mean, it's just a standard tape measure. Like the back clip I think is really cool. It's a lot stronger and it doesn't get stuck in things. Um, a lot of the clips like these, they, they just tend to get stuck in this brand specifically. There's a little screw. This is the, the Stanley Fat Max, by the way. This is probably like the most used tape measure in construction. Um, but I find that this screw in the back eventually just falls out and then you don't have a clip anymore. So you gotta try to put a screw back in there. But then once it's done that once, it just keeps backing out over and over. So that pisses me off about these. Um, I just think there should be a better design. This seems to be a lot better design. I haven't had a problem with the screw falling out, but I've probably used the, like this for a year before that happens. I haven't used this for more than a month yet. So I, it's not really fair to compare. I just don't know um, how long that that's gonna uh, last like that. But the clip is like a weird design. You know, it's just a little wire clip, but I like it. It, it works really well. Um, and so does this one. Uh, the one problem again with this too is there's an inside flap inside of there that uh, once this starts becoming loose and you try to stick it on it gets caught on that flap so this there's no inner like piece of metal or anything to get stuck on anything it's just this wire so I really like it um, at first when I started using it it just it was a bulkier size so like sticking it in anything trying to put it in between tools or put it on my pouch it's just bigger it's a little bit bulkier so I didn't like that as much about it but after I've gotten to use it for a while um, I really like it I've just found that I I favor this tape measure now um, you can tell this fat max both of these are 25 feet um, but I do like the size of this Stanley better it just ergonomically it fits in my hand I feel like I'm holding the baseball kind of where this thing is just like I just it's bulky and it's kind of oddly shaped it's got these little like weird ends and um, I don't know why maybe it's just to help stabilize it so it can stand up better um, but I don't have a problem with that with this one either so as far as how far this thing will go out um, I have found that when I extend it out uh, I get to about nine feet when I'm holding it with my front hand that it breaks at nine feet that of course means like you know you probably get out to 12 feet of measuring something let's see yeah that's about 12 feet and it's not breaking but once you get your hand to that nine foot mark it breaks every time um, what I like about the fat max is that the tape itself is wider that's why they call it a fat max so if you look at the two different sizes of tapes this one's definitely skinnier um, it's a little bit more rigid. I mean, it feels thicker than this does. Uh, so, which is probably why it still goes nine feet and doesn't break. Like a normal tape measure is not going to do that. 
Um, but this one, the Fat Max, what I like about it is, as an electrician, like we're always working above our heads and we're trying to measure off of you know things that are really far away. So I like that I can go further with this. I mean, this one breaks at 11 feet. Um, this has been used a lot, so I think it breaks a little bit shy of where it should. I've gotten like 13, 14 feet out of these before they break. Now, I mean, it's kind of hard. Once you get out to 14 feet, you notice the end of it starts to bow down so much that it's really hard to take a measurement off of anything. I mean, you kind of have to, you have to be very delicate with it to be able to measure like that. But I love that about the Fat Max. That's why like the Fat Max has always been my go-to and I think it's the go-to of most people. Um, but I've given this a shot and uh, I really do like it. So I think, I don't really have a reason not to give it five stars, but I just, I'm not 100% happy with it I'm not happy enough to throw this out and be like, hell yeah, this is the best one. Um, I think that these are both really comparable. The only thing I don't like about this is the size. Um, and I do wish that it had a, fat, a, a little bit fatter uh, tape on it. But, you know, the numbers, see if you can get a close-up of the two tapes side by side. So you can see, like, the, the Fat Max is noticeably fatter. The numbers are a little bit smaller. Um, I do like how the numbers are large on this one. It's just easier for you to easily recognize what you're measuring. These are a little bit smaller, so you got to kind of look closer. But it's the same. I mean, they mark the they mark every foot with an arrow, and they make it bold, and they mark every 16 inches with uh, red. Every Pretty much every tape measure does that. Um, so there's not anything that's like that much more unique about either one of them. Uh, one thing I've noticed that there's some brands out there, and I don't even know who's doing it, but it's just something I thought was cool that I saw. Utilizing the backside of the tape, like putting numbers and putting tick marks on the backside as well. Because if you're, you know, if you're, if you're measuring something and your tape's like twisted or you're, you know, you're measuring in a weird way, every once in a while your tape's going to be upside down and you kind of have to sit and twist it to look at your number. So I just think it's a missed opportunity to not also print on the back sides of the tape. Once I saw that there's a manufacturer out there doing it and I feel ignorant for not knowing who it was, but after seeing that I was like, that's so stupid. Why don't people, don't, why doesn't everybody do that? So it would also be cool if either one of these guys would do that. I think it'd just be another like no, no bullshit selling point for all of them to do. Um, I just don't see it very often. I personally don't like magnetic tapes. Neither of these have a magnetic end. Um, and I like that because if I'm in a metal building, you know, yeah, it's nice to extend this and have it just stick to a wall and be able to take your measurements off of. But I find that it gets stuck to shit all the time and it just bugs the hell out of me. So I personally don't like them. There's also versions of the Fat Max. I don't think that the stud has it, but there's a version of the Fat Max where instead of... Uh, when you pull it out, it automatically retracting. There's a version of this tape where when you pull it out, it automatically stays out. And you have to push a release to get it to come back in. I've used one of those for months and months, and I hate it. I just hate that the tape doesn't go all the way out, but it's because I've trained myself over years to know that a tape measure automatically retracts. So uh, it's just more of a pain in the ass to get a tool to automatically, or to, to get a tool to manually do something that it should automatically do. I mean, we pull these out, they should automatically go back in. So I just don't like those styles of tapes, and I don't like the magnetic ones. Just a personal preference. Leave some comments below if you guys use them and you think that I'm totally wrong and you love them. Um, but I don't know very, very many people that do love them. So last thing I think to talk about is the ends of these. I'm going to try to get up close to you, so if you need to focus. Um, can you see those both clearly? Yeah. All right, so I like the style of the stud, this guy. Um, it's a little bit wider and I find that it clips on things accidentally when I'm trying to take a measurement, or not even accidentally, but when I'm, uh, when I'm reaching out and I'm trying to hook on like the, the edge of a pipe and I'm about to measure, just the way that it's shaped and how wide it is and how f these little ends stick up, I find that it's just easier to like grasp onto things um, because you don't always have the ability to hook on this bottom part. Sometimes you need to hook on just this little end right here, you know, and that's like all you can do is you're, there's some kind of obstruction or whatever and you need to just like barely, barely hook it on. And I like that this tape 
it just seems like how they designed it, uh, it was to go outside of the bounds of the tape. Plus, since it's a wider tape, you have a wider end, and I just really like that about it. Um, this guy, it seems like they, they designed it to kind of be the same size as the tape. I mean, it does go outside the bounds a little bit, but again, just because it's not a wide tape, it doesn't have as wide of an end, so um, I just don't like that as much. It's just a preference thing. Nothing bad about it, just a preference. Um, they're both, oops, they're both uh, bolted on in three different places. I guess that's riveted on in three different places, so it seems like these aren't going to just rip out. Uh, a lot of brands that only use um, two rivets end up having problems with these things ripping. Um, I do find that there's a little bit more play in the stud and the end of it. So as far as accuracy with your measurements, the stud has a little bit less accuracy. I think this, and it's maybe just because it's newer. Um, it doesn't seem like there's anything spectacularly designed for there to be a difference. Um, but I don't usually, if I'm trying to get a precise measurement on something, I don't start at the end. If I'm just cutting something that I need to be like, roughly a certain length, I'll hook it on the end. But if I'm cutting wood or something that I need a precision cut, I always go to the one and I start my measurement there and I take it back. <laughs> and when you start doing that, you're going to fuck up a lot of measurements because you forget that you're not cutting at 16 inches. When you need something cut at 16 inches, because you're starting at one, you need to cut it at 17. So have fun with that. But uh, I just find that the measurement when you start at one or like a common number, um, it's far more precise where your measurement is. So uh, th that's the only shitty thing about all tape measures is that the front end's loose. So you have probably a 16th to an eighth inch of incorrect cut that you're gonna get. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, I think 4.5 stars is pretty fair. I wanna give it a five just cause I love Milwaukee. Um, there's nothing inherently wrong about it. I just think that it's bulky. It's oddly shaped, and the ergonomics of the Fat Max I like more, and I like the tape, how it's wider, it has a, a longer break, and for electricians especially, a longer break like that is, is a really important thing to have, because again, everything that we're doing is up and over our head, and we're getting like measurements that are 100 to 120 inches, that's, that's 10 feet, you know, so we need it to be able to extend that 10 feet without constantly breaking all the time, because you don't always have the benefit of being near a wall when you're measuring something. Sometimes you're in the middle of a room and you've got eight feet to a recessed can over there and eight feet to a recessed can over there, or you know you just don't have the flexibility. You're out in the middle of a room up on the top of a ladder. So the longer break that you can get, the better. Um, and I think the fat, the fat tape is what gets you there. And I really think both uh, Stanley and Milwaukee, if either of you are watching this, start putting shit on the backs of the tape. Why not? It's such a brilliant thing. It's not gonna cost you that much more ink. Go, go, go design a machine just because I said so. Um, but that's it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.